here is cylinder number one, cylinder number one. This that came out not in good shape, but was able to find the replacement. Looks very good. So a small one goes on top, the big one goes on the bottom. Threads match, and they do. Whew. Let's snug that up. All right, time for the big one. cleaning. We'll set the plate back on. And we are done with the top. Get the bottom in. So this for the float came with an O-ring. That one didn't fit. going to have to reuse these O-rings. It's not the worst thing. Well, let's not do what I did last time and snap anything off. in there. We can thread the main jet in and also get the pilot jet in. All right so I got everything swapped out. Looking good. I got the gasket area cleaned as best as I could. It's gonna sit flush which is nice. Had a bunch of extra parts some things have to be drilled out, but I did notice that I have some extra jets down in there. So, hey, that's news to me. I'm no expert in anything, I promise you that. So, let's take them out and see what happens. Well, I really don't think they do anything because they're just completely wide open. But, I did clean on in there, so might as well give them a clean, take them out and put them back in. Well, I put the carbs to the side. Let's take a look at these now. Not exactly sure 
how to take these out, but let's give it a shot. Maybe you twist it. That's plastic and that's not turning easily. There's also an Allen head in there. Let's see if we can turn them out with that. So after looking through this, I decided I think I'm just going to keep this the way it is, but give it a good cleaning. Um, there's a spring in here. Everything seems to be working well. Um, and the last thing I want to do is break something and then cause another problem. So let's get these things cleaned and get them back in. Needles still feel sharp. I think these will be just fine. Well, we got everything buttoned up in here. So this one's got to go. So I'm thinking this. Well, that's in there good. All right, let's try Phillips. Starting to actually turn. Okay, well, maybe a pair of vice grips. So I got the screws out with a little help from a stubby 3 8 inch ratchet, number two Phillips. So it's off the rail, the other side off the rail. This I see is not actually connected, this just slides into a groove and turns in unison, so that's good. I'm going to guess this set screw probably has to come off. And then, I don't know how any of this goes together. It looks like it's made of brass, but to probably try to pry that open. That's good there. This is sliding. Just like I thought it's this. Let's see if I can try to. Oh, there we go. It's wiggling. Something feels like, oh, there you have it. There's the curb. Right to the trash, unfortunately. Let's see if I need any parts off of it. Hopefully not. Well, here's the gas tank. I saw in the last video, it isn't exactly the cleanest. 
a little bit of rust in there. Not too bad actually, but I figured it's worth addressing. So I'm gonna try something I saw online where you use bathroom cleaner and water and let it sit overnight. And then I'll probably throw a chain in there. Shake it up. Any rust that's left in it will get knocked down and flush it with water and baking soda. So, let's see what happens. Couldn't take the pet cock out so nothing happens to the filter in there. For what it's worth, we'll put a little blaster on it. And I've got a number three Phillips, which we'll put in there. Try to get that out without stripping it. Penetrating well worked well. Definitely got to get that cleaned up, but all in all, not bad. Well, I got the pet cock out, but now I have this hole. I don't know how to plug it, so let's see what I come up with. All right, so here's what I did. I put the screws back in. Then I stuffed a glove, nitrile glove in the hole, very tightly. I'm hoping that the bathroom cleaner does not eat that away, but we're gonna find out in the morning. All right, so got the fuel tank on a six by six, just in case anything does leak out of it. And the petcock on the left side, it will just fall right out and not actually sit inside the tank so I'm gonna put um, about 32 ounces of bathroom cleaner in here and then the rest water shake it up a little bit and let it sit for about 10 hours so I'll see what happens in the morning I'll follow up with you guys then I'll give the carbs a little cleaning I think they came out pretty good not perfect but we're talking a 40 year old motorcycle, so I think for our purposes it'll be just fine. Again, still missing carb number four, but that'll drop in here hopefully early next week and we'll put it back on and see if we can't uh, get it running properly. Okay, so we are back now. Uh, here's where we're at. So the carbs got pulled off. Broken carb has been replaced with this guy. Just have to get the jets in, get it hooked back up onto the rack. I have new boots for this. Looking at them now, I probably didn't need them, but ended up getting them on auction on eBay for I think $9.99 to my door which is about half of what they cost with the buy it now so that was a win so might as well put them on I uh, got the new air cleaner so that can go on uh, fuse box it had a clip but the clip didn't look anything like this so may have to splice some wires but we have to replace these anyway so we'll uh, keep plugging away here I'll keep you posted on what's going on. Okay, well, we have the carb slid onto the rail. It hasn't been bolted down yet, but we're getting there. We'll give it a little tap, get those lined up, 
get the screws in. But so far it looks pretty good. I gotta put the one plate back on this. I'll get the spring in. I'm sorry, the diaphragm and the spring, then the cap. Uh, these caps were a little bit rustier when I got them. I buffed them a little bit and still a lot of pitting, but but the best I can do. Not bad for almost 40 year old bike. So what I have to do now is check the float height. The internet told me 17 and a half millimeters. So definitely got to bring it up a little bit. So I'll adjust that. Get them all checked. And button it up. All right, everything has been lined up to 17 and a half millimeters. Let's clear the space off and we're going to put on the gaskets and the float bowls. Orientation is pretty easy to figure out. There's no drain screw there, but there is one here, so. And that one goes on the outside. Drain screw on the left. That outside. Drain screw on the right. 